So I want to do a video for you guys uh, because a lot of people change the Volvo fuel pump wrong. Um, the proper priming procedure I wanted to talk about. Here's your pump right here. This is your filter. This is your low pressure fuel pump. And this is your high pressure fuel pump. This is your high pressure line that goes up to the rail. And this is your return back to that float. And this is your uh, actual fuel cooler back here. So what you want to do is when you fill this, uh, when you put this pump on, you definitely don't just want to turn it on. The best thing to do is actually fill this filter with fuel before spinning it back on. That way you don't give this pump a very hard time, correct? If you're going to leave this filter open and you just want to sacrifice and see if it runs dry for a while, unplug this high pressure fuel pump. Let this one fill up the chamber and the fuel cooler, and then turn on and plug in this pump. Do a couple key cycles. But best bet is filling this up when it's completely dry with fuel 93. Let this one prime up. Fill this fuel cooler through this hose right here. It is your best bet. It's a lot of volume. No pump will run dry. Nothing will have to wait. It's probably the best idea that I could give you. That way you have a huge chamber of fuel that's full and everything primes up much quicker. You get the air out of there much faster. Here's your air bleed for pump one, which is the low pressure. You could check your PSI at that if you have a bad condition, right? Here is your other high pressure check. Your Schrader valve is down there that should be above 55 PSI, right? This is your fuel pressure regulator. That comes out with this clip and you're ready to go. If you're having fuel pressure issues or derated power, fuel pressure regulator is about 45 bucks. Very easy to check, unclip, clean the screen behind it. Once you got high pressure here at 55 and you got low pressure here at about 12, you're good to go, okay? But make sure you fill this filter and don't run your pump dry because this pump will just push air for a while and kill itself if it doesn't have enough fuel in here. A lot of people run it dry. Okay, hope that helps everybody. This is a Volvo Penta 5.7 GXI. Most Volvo Pentas will have the same one.